Hey there guys, what is going on out there with all of you today? This is sort of a quick video because I don't exactly have a lot of time. I probably say that a lot and then these videos generally go 10 minutes anyway, but I'm going to try to say that this time. It is going to be a quick video because I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to talk about something a little bit different here today. Uh, one of the reasons I started my channel when I really got this going was the idea that if I didn't just want to do music stuff, if I wanted to branch out, okay, maybe things were still going to be a little bit music related, but maybe we're going to go into movies or TV or other realms and ideas that I'd be free to do that for this channel, which is why I rebooted everything, restarted compared to where I was before, really modeling it for an image that I wanted it to go in. And I haven't really used that much, but today I actually wanted to talk about a movie and get to put that in the other category for once. This is uh, a movie, I'm kind of doing this spur of the moment, so it's not like I have like all of the background information. I don't know exactly when this movie came out, it was in this the it was in last the last year or so because it is in the current Oscar race right now. But it is a music themed film, and I just kind of spur of the moment thing ended up watching it. I was just kind of so taken with it and inspired, perhaps I, at least inspired to get in here and make a video. I wanted to basically talk about uh, a movie called Whiplash. Now. It's a very quick movie, filmed in only like 19 days, I think it's one of those low budget kind of quick run through affairs, very basic sort of thing. Um, probably considered sort of a dark horse, maybe as far as Oscar contenders go with Birdman and uh, Boyhood and American Sniper and all these other movies and stuff going on out there. But for those of you that don't know about Whiplash, basically to run a quick premise for you, it's about this, uh, th this, this kid who is attending a music academy, uh, Schaefer Music Academy. I, I have no idea if that's real or not. It appears to be set in New York City, though. And he's taking uh, like jazz and that sort of thing. He's a, a jazz drummer. And it's one of those movies that if you were to examine the plot before you really dug into what the movie was about, it might turn you off because basically it's like a movie about, you know, a, a kid going to music school to take jazz drumming. Why is that interesting? you know, sort of. But the real interplay is as this kid, it, whose character I can't remember at the moment because I'm trying to fly through everything that's going through my head right now, as this kid is attending this music school in this academy to become better and become a great and become like Buddy Rich and uh, uh, you know Charlie Parker and all this stuff that it, they mentioned throughout the movie, he encounters this crazy, psychotic teacher uh, played by J.K. Simmons who's most probably most well known to mainstream people as being in uh, the first couple of Spider-Man movies, the Tobey Maguire ones, as J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, he's in this one as well, looking much different without the mustache and not demanding photos of Spider-Man at every turn. Uh, as this as this psychotic teacher who's just striving for the absolute best, the absolute best at all costs, uh, just. Like a dictator, like a tyrant, just hurling insults and things. It, it does strain the bonds of realism a little bit to the point that this teacher goes to in terms of, you know, throwing these insults at these students, doing things to them that I don't think you would have a job for very long in today's society uh, with those kind of, of tactics. And there are certain parts in the movie that do strain this a little bit because basically it's their interplay between the student and the teacher as the teacher pushes him, the, this, uh, this protagonist, harder and harder and harder and harder and nothing is ever good enough and you're not in my tempo, you're not in this. He's pushing him harder and harder and harder to the brink and the breaking point and it's really, it's really an interesting evolution of a film as it goes along to see him start off as this, you know, young drummer idolizing the likes of Buddy Rich and all these and, and, you know, moving up through the ranks and then meeting this guy and it suddenly just turns his world into this intense, anxiety-provoking, blood uh, spurting out of his hands from drumming so hard. Uh, kind of a ride where he becomes more and more like his his teacher in this maniacal thing until it reaches this absolute breaking point and and then things change and you think it's going to be one thing and then it goes back and I wouldn't want to give away the end because I would want people to go see this movie um, and it really 
The ending has provoked a bit of debate, and I know people who did not like the ending and different things about it, but I thought the ending was absolutely enthralling. It, like, it kept me riveted. I was fascinated by it, and it really provokes... I think the overall theme of the movie that really provoked my attention, really made me think that I wanted to do a, you know, a little video about this, is just that overarching debate throughout because it, the ending is a little bit ambiguous in the sense of you don't know what's going to happen in like the scene after like what happens to this kid but I think everything that's in the last part of it is really presented there for you for your consumption to really make you think about it and I think it really presents an interesting debate with in regards to this maniacal teacher how far is too far to tea, to drive your students to you know what's the difference between pushing you know, pushing someone towards greatness and just outright, you know, flaying them with the whip until they break or explode or crack, you know, any number of adjectives like that, any descriptive thing like that. You know, what what's the line for striving for perfection that you go to? It's kind of interesting on both sides because you have that from the teacher's perspective and how hard do you push when he thinks there is no harder that you can push and this kid trying to learn and be the best and be in the top group and be, you know, this someone who gets noticed, be one of the greats, and how he pushes himself to these heights, but what do you lose in your humanity and in who you are in the process of gaining this control over this thing you love, and does the love of that change when your devotion goes from being a devout worship to maybe something more, something more fanatical, if, any, if, if anything, if that's the right word for it, to something that's a little darker, maybe almost a little bit sinister to get control over something that you love. What are the lengths that you go to and what are the sacrifices made to get there? And is it, is it really worth it? And is it a triumph or is it falling back into the same, the same patterns where this is, this is your life and this, this thing is you. This is what your life has become and does it's that thing where, you know, you've, con it's consumed you and maybe you've gotten out of it, but then it can consume you again. So like, what's the ultimate victory? And I think I could go on about that, but rather it's just better if you go and watch the movie, movie and whatever. The, the last sequence is just, it's riveting. It's, it's absolutely riveting. I love it so much. And I, I just think if you really think about the debates between that, getting getting some of the parts out of it where it does go a bit over the top, like straining even the parts where you relax, so like, yes, it's just a movie, this isn't real life. Did there are certain parts, even like in the middle where a thing happens, and it's it's just even too much for that, like mm, you're kind of straining it a little bit. That's my downside for that movie. But otherwise I think just the music scenes, the interplay between these two as they battle and clash, and one becomes more like the other, and they spar, and this it just gets more heated and more anxious and more tense and and like back and forth and battling and and just that ultimate debate of where the line is between going too far, whether you're the protege straining for triumph and greatness, or the teacher trying to impart greatness at any cost. So I think it's absolutely fascinating. I'm not a big jazz fan or anything like that, but it certainly was really cool as ter in terms of uh, you know jazz band, jazz music, that kind of thing. And really something that maybe on the surface you wouldn't think is really interesting if you were to look at it like that, as opposed to other music movies I've seen, you know, Almost Famous, Inside Lewin Davis, stuff like that. This is, this is a way different animal, and I think it really is great for that. It's not like the rest, and I think it's definitely worth one checking out because it is just overall a really great character study. So go check out the movie Whiplash. I would definitely give it like a... I don't know, I never do reviews for these kind of things, like a, a three and a half out of four stars. Uh, you know, half a star off for that. It's kind of straining the realism a little bit, going a little too far overboard with like the tropes and such. But I think overall it's a, it's a thrilling movie and the ending sequence will just leave you like, whoa. 
and really thinking about the overarching questions behind it, which I think are really fascinating. So go check out the movie Whiplash. That is my review on that. I think it is super, super awesome. A little bit late in the game now, but I just watched it last night and I had to impart some of my thoughts on that to you guys. So go and watch that and another video that should be up before or after this one. That's going to be equally awesome too. And keep it here, guys, for much, much more. So stay tuned.